What a beautiful tree. That thing was on its way to heaven until <laughs> Sylvie gave me a call. Now she wants to plant it in front of her house down there. She has the one at the very end with the really beautiful white and blue. And uh, now in the process of, they're building a big, beautiful house here. The contractor's like, yeah, man, I gotta really get rid of this tree. I'm willing to work with you, which is great. A lot of guys would say, no, I need to get rid of it tomorrow. Goodbye tree. But uh, in this case, we're gonna try to move it. And your, your Vanessa. name? Vanessa. And Tony, Tony helped it. But look what we found while we're up back there. These are naked ladies, people. These things were about to go to heaven as well, but we're saving these. A bulb this big is probably 10, 15 years old. And it takes seven years for it to just bloom from a tiny little thing. Even this bulb here is a couple years old already. And so uh, everybody needs to know that when they dig up these naked ladies, especially in their off season of bloom, that they are perfectly alive, even though they look like they're dead. And uh, just put them in the ground and they will come up and sprout and be a big, beautiful pink uh, coloration on their on their flowers. Thus the, uh, so we all know, of what well, you might not know, I should explain it. So the naked lady comes out of the ground in spring. It has all its beautiful foliage. It looks a lot like agapanthus. You guys probably know this. Uh, Tony probably doesn't. This is all news to Tony. <laughs> and then uh, it takes all of the, uh, the sunlight, turns it into energy, puts it down into the bulb, and then it all dies and it looks totally dead. And then in, in late summer, like right now, a little later, uh, boom, these things sprout up. You can see this is the remnant of uh, what was left from this season. And then they make these incredible big pink flowers without any foliage at all, thus the name Naked Lady. I got Tony's attention. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so everybody should know when they're digging around, and especially in old gardens, when they run into these things, these are perfectly good naked ladies. These bulbs like this will usually cost you about five or 10 bucks each for a blooming size bulb. So we probably have a hundred dollars of bulbs here. So we're going to divide them up let, and I'll let, show you. Let me tell you, let me count everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so look, this is how we divide them up guys. We, uh, the first person gets the biggest one. So they wouldn't have known this unless, well, no, you are the first one. The first okay. You get first pick. You get first pick. All right. I get second pick. I can save a tree. All right. Third pick. Okay. I got third pick. The biggest ones are the best. Okay, I'm gonna go through here. I'm gonna take this one here. No, well, I, that's a, that's wrong. No. Should we divide these up? Yeah, yeah. The, each one's gotta be divided. All right, third. Okay, you're out. Your pick. All right, I'm gonna get this one. All right. Okay. Anyway, you get the idea, guys. Try not to get in fights with the people that you're like divvying them up with. You know, for the biggest ones. But uh, those are naked ladies. Please don't let them go to waste. I know you're wondering. And I figure I'll just tell you, what does Gary do with all of his naked ladies? Yeah, you're wondering that, huh? Well, this is what I do with them here. Um, see all this? See this? Those are my naked ladies before they get naked. These are the clothes that they pour off themselves right here and look now they're coming out they're getting naked 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 yep so every naked lady that i find that's homeless i'm taking her home and naked ladies line my driveway now believe it or not i've got naked ladies all the way up and down the driveway they're just starting to emerge i think this year they don't get any water at all zero water and look, they're still thriving. Well, I wouldn't say thriving, actually. I think a lot of them are uh, taking a year off from blooming because we've had two extremely dry years. And, um, well, uh, that's just the way it is. Uh, but you can see that we'll still get a lot of blooms coming up. Uh, but these are all my naked ladies here. And in spring, it's a beautiful lush green. There's one popping up right there. And, uh, and uh, here's one that's just opening. Let me go visit her. It's even pretty when it, even before it opens, it's beautiful. Look at that. Um, anyway, yeah, they're all along here, but I think this year is not a good year because they rely upon rainfall only. Guess what we haven't had <laughs> for two years? We've had hardly any rain. So... The plants are probably pretty stressed and they're just kind of hanging out, waiting for the rains to come. 
these plants here, maybe they just had more shade. If I had more shade on the uh, under here, that's why they're doing better. That's just an idea, a theory. But you can see they're all the way up and down the driveway. Um, the ranch, I've lined the entire road with naked ladies. So those naked ladies, I'll just find little holes where there's no naked ladies coming up. And I'll put in more naked ladies. Because I want naked ladies everywhere. Why wouldn't you? There's nothing wrong with having naked ladies. Everywhere.